In this lecture, we are going to design a push down automata for the language L equal to WC, WR, such that W belongs to whole star of A union B, or W can be any string over A or B, including null. So, here is our component of PDA Q0, Q1, and Q2, their states. A, B, they are input alphabets. A, B and Z, they are stack symbols. We are pushing A for A and B for B. Delta is our transition function which we are supposed to define. Q0, it is our initial state. Z is bottom stack marker. And Q2, it is our final state. So before jumping to the delta function, we must define or we must see the form of the strings which our PDA is going to accept. So strings they are in the form of WCWR. Here W is any string over A and B including null. WR it is reverse of this one and in between there is a symbol C. So we can clearly define the middle of the string. Okay C is our middle. Now a, B, C, B, A. Is this string is in the form W, C, W, R? Yes. Here, A, B is our W and B, A, it is our W, R. In between, it is C. So, this string is supposed to be accepted. Similarly, B, C, B, it should also be accepted because B is reverse of B. An important string, only C. Is it going to be accepted by our, by our PDA? Yes, it should be accepted because before C, there is a null and after C, there is a null. And null is reverse of null. So, this is in the form of WCWR. So, only C, it is supposed to be accepted. But A, B, C, B, B. There is this string. It is not in the form of WCWR because in this case AB is our W and BB it is our WR but BB it is not reverse of AB so this should not be accepted. So what should be our logic for acceptance? First of all we push all the symbols of this W in the stack one by one. The moment we get a C we know the middle of the string is reached. So the rest part should be reverse of this W. So suppose this string A B C B A we start pushing A, B. The moment C is encountered, we know we are in the middle. So the rest part should be W, R. So this B is supposed to be matched by this B and it should be cancelled out or popped. Similarly, this A is supposed to be cancelled out with this A. So this W, R is in the form of W. Why? Because the stack is empty. So this is our logic for acceptance. Now we start writing the delta function one by one. So here is our first transition rule. We are in state Q0 and if we are getting C as input and naturally at the start the bottom stack mark that is Z then what should we do because C is going to be accepted we move to final state Q2 and z becomes z. So it is our acceptance of c. Accepting because q2 our final state in q0 if we are getting c as input at that time z is the bottom stack marker or that time it is top also then we are moving to q2 and q2 is our final state so c is accepted. What about other strings? 
So if we are at state Q0 and if we are getting A as input at that time the top of the stack is Z then we should push this A according to our logic. So we are in state Q0 and we are pushing this A by which symbol A. So this becomes our new top. Similarly Q0 B Z it means we are getting B as input then this B is supposed to be pushed on the stack. So it becomes BZ. Now another rule is Q0 AB Q0 BA If we are in state Q0, if we are getting A as input and at that time B is at the top of the stack, then what should we do? We push this A to the top, to the stack. So Q0, this A is supposed to be pushed, though it becomes the top AB. Similarly, in this case, Q0, BA, Q0, B is our new top, A, okay. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4, these 4 rules will keep pushing all the symbols before C is encountered. Now the moment C is encountered, we don't know what will be the top of the stack. It can be either A, it can be either B, it can be either A or B. So both the transition function must be defined. So what we are doing, we are just changing the state. So from Q0 we are moving to state Q1 and the symbol we are doing nothing just we are replacing A by A and B by B. We are just changing the state here and we know the middle of the string is encountered. So the rest part is WR reverse of W. So we are in state Q1 we are getting A as input, the top of the stack is A, then we should pop, so Q1, null, similarly Q1, BB, Q1, null, so these two transition function, they match all the strings, all the symbols on the stack with WR. So naturally if WR is matched with W, all the symbols on the stack will be popped out. Finally, the bottom stack marker delta will be exposed. So we are in state Q1, input symbols they are all consumed, so delta is here, null. Bottom stack marker is exposed, so it is Z. So we move to final state Q2 and Z. So this is our acceptance. So these are the rules for WCWR. Any input string in the form of WCWR is going to be accepted by this machine, including C. Okay. Now we see an example string. Suppose we are taking A, B, C, B, A and we try to imitate the acceptance of this string by our PDA. So we name the rules 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
सिक्स सेवेन एट नाइन एंड टेन दैट टेन ट्रांजेक्शन रूल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर इन स्टेट क्यू जीरो वी आर गेटिंग ए एज इनपुट एंड स्टैक टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक इज जेड सो विच रूल इज एप्लीकेबल रूल नंबर वन सो वट वी डू वी पुस दिस ए टू द स्टैक सो इट बिकम्स ए दिस इज कंज्यूम नाउ वी आर इन स्टेट क्यू जीरो और इनपुट सिंबल इज बी एंड टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक इज न्यू टॉप इज ए सो विच रूल विच रूल इज एप्लीकेबल रूल नंबर टू क्यू जीरो वी आर गेटिंग बी एज इनपुट एंड टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक इज नो नॉट रूल नंबर इट शुड बी वी आर इन स्टेट क्यू जीरो वी आर गेटिंग बी एज इनपुट and at that time top of the stack is a so it should be rule number 5 sorry not rule number 2 so what we are doing we are pushing b to the stack now we are stated we are in state q0 and we are getting c as next input so which rule is applicable we are in state q0 c as input and top the stack is b then rule number 7 is applicable then we, what we are doing we are simply changing the state from q0 to q1 so our new state is q1 our new state is q1 at q1 we are getting b as input and top of the stack is b see the rest part is wr so it should be matched with the symbols on the stack so b is matched with b so this b should be popped so which transition rule will do this we are in state q1 we are reading b top of the stack is b so rule number 9 it will pop this symbol because there is a match similarly we are in state we are in state q1 we are getting a as input alphabet input symbol and top of the stack is a so rule number 8 is applicable so this is also there is also a match so it should be popped finally we are in, we are in state q1 and all the input symbols all the inputs they are consumed so it means what what we are getting we are getting null so which rule is applicable we are in state q1 input is null and that bottom top of the stack is z so we are moving to state q2 which is our final state so a b c b a it is accepted so this is about our wc w1 and these 10 rules they are sufficient to accept all the strings of the form wcwr okay